got no idea. He's just a kid. And my hustle will make up for whatever I'm lacking. But the papa wasn't wrapped up in the streets. Something happened. We got some people looking out at the yard. What did you and Demetrius do that requires us to leave our house? I feel like I'm in prison. When is going to be over? I know you wanted the gateways to Detroit. Think you're going to take over the world? Hell yeah. What's going on, fam? It's your man, Vay KJ. And today we're going to be covering BMF Episode 6 Final Predictions. And just know if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Absolutely like, comment below with any thoughts, any theories. And we're going to break down all that's going to be revealed in the next episode of BMF. And I'm excited about this because a lot of stuff could have went down last episode, but I believe that it's all going to come out. Now, if you missed any of my recaps, definitely go back to the BMF playlist. You can watch all the recaps that I did prior to this. So now let's break down episode six. It's called Strictly Business. And here's the description. Detroit brothers Demetrius and Terry Flinnery become power figures in a multi-state drug and money laundering organization. All right. So now with all of that being said, it's a whole lot of new things, new territory, but we're going to break down this episode six. And I know that you guys are going to be excited about it because a lot of stuff we've been waiting for is probably going to come out in episode six. So let's break this down right about now. Now, again, we got the gentleman right here, Q. This is a new character named Q, played by Jamel Howard. And we're going to see a lot more of him because he's going to be part of the new connect. Right. So, you know, Meech and Terry, they connected with Big L. So he's going to be part of this. And as Meech mentioned, you know, he is one of the gateways to Detroit, meaning that, you know, he probably has a bigger reach and probably has more connections and everything else like that. So Meech is going to him to let him know he definitely wants to connect with him on some business. And with all that being said, you know, your boy Lamar, he is alpha blood, right? Last episode, he lost, you know, everything, pretty much lost his connection to Monique and Zoe, and he lost the stats that he stole from the 50 boys. So he's trying to definitely take down Meech, definitely take down Terry. But with all the new connects and with everything that Meech knows now, it ain't going to go down. It ain't going to be good for Lamar. Again, Charles is very skeptical about what's going on. So he's asking Terry, what are you and Meech getting us into where we got to leave our home now? Now they got to leave the house because it's getting so dangerous out there, you know, that Lamar and other people are trying to get at, you know, the boys. And yeah, you know, Lucille, she's definitely like, yeah, our boys are mixed up in the streets. But of course, Charles is definitely going to be on some like, I told you so. I've been telling you this since day one, right? Since day one, like you don't want to believe me. I've been telling you since day one, these boys are mixed up into stuff. But you didn't want to believe me. Now, he probably didn't believe that Terry was involved, but he definitely knew Meech was involved. But now they know both are involved. Your boy Lamar, he's definitely going to be real frustrated because he's going to try to take out Meech and Terry and he is going to fail. He's absolutely going to fail. You know, at the same time, it doesn't look like he got any backup from the 12th Street Boys as well. You know, so he lost a lot, a lot of respect. 12th Street boys do not respect him anymore because of what he did to 10. Now, Meech, Deathly, and Terry, they are going to be doing some big, big business. And we're probably going to see way more of that now that they have their connect with Big L. They're going to be getting a lot of keys. going to be a lot of weight being moved. And you know, like, they're really going to be coming up. So we're going to be seeing the rise of Meech and Terry as they move into forming BMF. Now, of course, Nicole, you know, we got to watch out for Nicole, man, because Nicole, once she gets frustrated and, and, and everything else like that, you know, if you remember from the first episode, you know, when Meech had to find her, he found her, you know, in another part of Michigan where she shouldn't have been, right, because she was so frustrated about everything going on and Terry being in the hospital. Like, you know, she tried to jump out the car when Meech was driving, you know, when Meech picked up and she tried to jump out. So, Definitely look out for more things coming from the cold, right? Now we see the 12th Street Boys pulling straps out on Lamar. This is what I was saying before, that he has lost his respect totally amongst the 12th Street Boys. 
And, you know, they're not they're not having it anymore. You know, he's not going to try to strangle dude anymore. You know, he try to strangle him in broad daylight in front of the boys. And, you know, he's trying to disrespect him and, and the whole nine. But, hey, the 12th Street boys, they're not having it. They're like, listen, OG, we ain't having it no more. We see that you're not about business and you're messing up our business. So they definitely going to be like, nah. Your girl, Kato, boy, I tell you, <laughs> Kato thinks that she's in good. She thinks... She, She's straight now because, you know, she helped out Meech to hide Zoe in the whole nine and get the stash back and everything else like that. She thinks she's in a good place. But I believe that Meech and Terry heard that conversation she had with Lamar. And I believe that they also are going to catch Kato and B. Mickey getting it on. I believe the secret that they have as far as them getting together, as far as Kato being connected to Lamar, I believe these secrets or well, some of these secrets are going to come out in this next episode. You know, they're showing some press pics of Kato and B. Mickey. So I'm thinking that, yeah, they're going to get caught and uh, it's not going to be a good thing. Your boy Meech is with Q now and big business is about to really go down. Again, this is the early formulation of BMF. And we're going to see a whole lot more Q, right? Q is going to be a, a, a factor in this thing. Q is definitely going to be... Uh, definitely an important person, an important role in the formulation of the multi-state money laundering uh, things they're going to be doing and also the drug game. So, you know, we're going to be seeing more Q and Meech definitely connecting, definitely making moves together. And yes, that's right. You know, Meech is out to take over the world and that's what's going to go down. We're going to see. We're going to see in the next episode. So those are my final predictions, fam. Definitely. Let me know your thoughts, your theories on what's going to happen. Will Kato and B. Mickey get caught, right? Is Lamar really, really going down like that? Is this the episode that really goes down? He's still going to be the big bad trying to get at Meech and Terry. You know, what's going to happen with the money laundering and everything else like that? We already know. They're about to blow up. BMF is about to really formulate and come through through Meech and Terry. So, those are my final predictions. You know, absolutely, I love and appreciate all of you guys. Definitely drop some comments below. Let me know your thoughts as well. And we are excited to see what's going to go down tonight on the next episode of BMF Episode 6. And you know what it is. It's your man, VKJ. I'm out. Salute.